Yo, I finally decided to get a pair of Galaxy Buds. I was trying to hold off, but let's rewind a little bit and let's just go through it. Right, guys let's go ahead and talk about the galaxy buds fe and i think the fe stands for fan edition and i'm just gonna say right off the bat i am a fan of these galaxy buds i, I do like them i was really reluctant to pick these up because i have three pairs of airpods the pro ones the pro twos and the third gens and they also work with all these samsung phones so i was like why would i buy the galaxy buds if I already have AirPods. And there's a reason for that. They sound a lot better through the Samsung phones, I mean, naturally. And let's look at the tech specs real quick. Let's, let's look at the nerdy stuff real quick. Let's get it out the way. This is right off of Samsung's website, so that's that. In this video, I'm basically sharing my experiences from owning AirPods for a while to converting to the Galaxy Buds. And there's the Pro Ones, I believe that is. They're both great. The Galaxy Buds seem to be a little lighter in their clamshell case. And this is it. This is it right here. I appreciate them making them. Oh, I appreciate them making them in a um, darker colorway because it kind of hides them better. And right away, they wanted me to update them so I can get all the latest software updates. I was a little anxious. I just wanted to pop them in and let them roll. But it's like, no, it doesn't work. But here's another update. And of course we gotta go through it, that's okay. I'm, I'm glad it's gonna be up to date. I'm glad they're gonna be working perfectly. Gives you a USB-C cable with it. It also gives you the little doohickeys, like the little grips. I'll show you that in a second. Wanted to keep the case open to go through the update. Just keep that in mind. But here's everything that comes with it. They give you bands and they give you the plugs. So with all of that, you should be able to find your fit. For me, I left everything the way it is and they work just fine. So after pairing these you got to put them in your ear and they do like a little check and they tell you that they're all good but once they are confirmed connected you will be able to see them on the phone and i like that i like to be able to monitor the the battery level and all that good stuff so are these better than airpods and i, I don't like to do better i just like to do compared as two and right off the it's kind of hard to explain like a listening experience because everybody's ears are different everyone's gonna have a different listening experience with these buds so uh, l hold on let's let's go through a little test well as you can tell by my reaction, they're pretty good. <laughs> no, seriously, this is how they fit. Like they, I jumped around, shook my head, and they're actually a better fit than Apple AirPods for me. The AirPods allow you to adjust them with, that, with the stem. These do not, but they sound really, really good. But my only drawback for me is they're not as loud. Like they're not as loud as AirPods. I know we're not supposed to have loud things in our ear can kill our hearing. But for me, it just wasn't as loud as I like them to be. I actually have to turn the volume up 
all the way up on so far i've used these on a galaxy s20 ultra galaxy s21 ultra and i just got to turn it all the way up for me to actually enjoy them i even went into the settings you know androids have a million settings i went to the settings i looked for something to pump the volume up some and i just couldn't find anything now does that make me not like these? No, because at this point, I'm used to them and I use them every day and they just fit really good in my ear. I kind of forget about them, but I would like them to be a little louder. And if anybody's watching this that knows how to make these a little louder, please let me know in the comments. And also, let me know, do you have the Galaxy Bud Pros? Do you use the Pixel Buds? Or are you using these FEs, which I think, again, is the fan edition? I'm a fan of them. They just need to be a little louder. I can, that's my only gripe with these things. And I do also like how much you can customize these just like you can Apple AirPods. And I, I don't know if I'll get the Pixel ones down the line. I might. I mean, I'm even thinking about getting a little stupid Galaxy Watch and all that stuff. I'm trying to hold off on all that stuff and just focus on the phones for right now. But all those accessories and that ecosystem is very, very, very tempting. But again, let me know. Do you have these buds? Do they sound good? Are they not loud enough for you like they're not loud enough for me or are they too loud just just give me some feedback because i do think they're great i paid like 85 dollars for these and then i went on amazon and amazon was letting them go for like 68 69 bucks so if i would have waited a little longer i could have got them on amazon it doesn't matter but even if that even if you just want to buy them brand new from like samsung i believe they're 99 dollars with like no discount so just keep that in mind. And if I would have to give these like a rating, I hate rating things because ratings are so subjective, especially with, you know, listening devices like this. Everybody's listening experience is, is subjective. It's not always going to be the same. You could pop these in your ear and be like, dang, these are way too loud. But what I do like is Galaxy or Samsung actually implemented a really good um, noise control. And they call that ANC. I think that's active noise control. And it works really, really good. When you don't have anything playing, your voice sounds a little weird. And I kind of like that because it means that these buds are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So that's that's pretty much all I can explain with these. Like, again, it's hard for me to translate my sound experience to you because you got to hear them for yourself. But let me know if you have these. But that is all I have for this video, guys. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, which is Call of Culture. Make sure you follow me on Instagram where you can interact with me a little bit more directly. And that's Colotech383. I will catch you on one of those platforms. This video took a little longer to get to you guys because I actually lost the flash drive that had all the Best Buy store footage on us. But it is what it is. I will catch you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. Um, bye.